New York Congressman Anthony D'Esposito. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. So why did you decide to hold this commencement ceremony? What's been the response? Well, we haven't had a response yet from the president, uh, but the response from the community has been overwhelmingly in support. You know, uh, years back, we saw probably these same students who suffered the same fate uh, when many of them couldn't have their high school graduations because of COVID-19. And now they're being uh, stripped of their ability to walk in their in their commencement because of failed leadership at universities like Columbia. I mean, the, the idea that uh, you, you do not have the ability or, or are not confident in being able to keep students safe, that you had to cancel um, a commencement is absolutely ridiculous. It's bad enough uh, that they sent the kids home to study uh, and, and, and learn virtually, but the mm -hmm. fact that they're going to cancel um, graduation is absolutely ridiculous. And, and we've heard from the school uh, that, well, you know, the, the larger commencement has been canceled, but they're going to do their best to have smaller graduations. That's not what these students want. And quite frankly, why would students want to go back to the same university, same campus uh, that their administration has told them already that they can't keep them safe at? Yeah. 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 And by the way, this same graduating class had their high school graduations canceled yeah. because of the COVID-19 mm -hmm. pandemic. Um, take us through what you're planning on doing for the students that go to Columbia that live in your district, which is Long Island. Uh, what are the details? And then why not open this up to all the graduates? I mean, that would be the ultimate troll of all time, Congressman. But why not open this up to the entire graduating class over there at Columbia? Well, right now, like I said, I, I sent the letter uh, yesterday morning to the president of Columbia uh, asking for the names of the students who uh, reside in the 4th Congressional District and, and told her that I would uh, work with local stakeholders and elected officials, uh, our local town supervisor here, Don Clavin, our county executive, Bruce Blakeman, uh, in finding a, a location, a safe location, uh, and a, a venue to hold a commencement um, for these students that live in these districts. I'm hoping uh, that the president sends those names over so that we can contact them. If not, uh, I guess we will try another route and perhaps uh, just uh, announce a location uh, and go forward from there. But right now, I'm, uh, you know, we're hoping that uh, the president will send the names over and we can contact these families um, and invite them to a uh, to a, a graduation that they could feel safe, they could feel proud. Uh, and we're looking for a commencement address. So if you know anybody in mind, keep us posted. Oh, a speaker. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Interesting. You huh. mentioned um, wanting them to feel safe. I know you've made several trips to Columbia University's campus in the last few weeks. You've had a chance to talk with some of the students, some of the Jewish students on campus. What kind of stories have you heard from them and what they've experienced at Columbia? You know, it was very sad, quite frankly. It was sad. And, and for me, when I left <clears throat> Columbia uh, that day with Speaker Johnson, uh, I felt disappointed. I felt disappointed in in government, I felt disappointed in our educational system. I mean, to hear these kids at a, at a local Chabad just just blocks away from Columbia University telling me uh, that they've, over the last six or seven or eight months, and even longer, have endured being spit on and punched and kicked and, uh, you know, just, just called absolutely disgusting names and, and being accosted in hallways. And, and the fact that they've reported uh, these incidents to the administration, and it's all fallen on deaf ears. Mm. It's just a sad state of affairs. And, and, and that is one of the reasons as to why, um, you know, very early on, I called for the resignation of, of the president uh, of Columbia. I just, when, when you are uh, failing to not only keep students safe, but uh, helping them feel safe. I mean, that is the ultimate failure of your leadership. Yeah, I don't know how that woman, Manu Shafiq, I don't know how. Basically, if you have a job, you have that job until you don't do your job well. Mm -hmm. um, and she right. is, I mean, you think well, about- we're there. She was there, we're, we're, we're well past yeah. it. If you think about her testimony on April 17th, and then here we are on May 15th, so less than a month later, no commencement for kids at Columbia. By the way, you don't cancel commencement if protests are peaceful. Hmm. And they keep perpetuating this narrative that these protests are peaceful, which, of course, is a lie. Um, Congressman, good to see you. Let us know if you, uh, if you run into problems finding somebody to speak at that commencement in the 4th District over there in New York, not far from where we are in Midtown. Absolutely. So let us know. Good luck to we you, will, Congressman. We will keep you posted, and yeah. we'll also keep you posted on whether the president responds or not. Please do. Thank Thanks. you.